We saw all the backlash in the lead up to the release of Disney's live action race swap Little Mermaid. Disney told everybody, they told the mainstream media, they said that it's just a couple racists out there. That's really what this backlash is. It's just racists out there who are mean. They hate Halle Bailey for the color of her skin. It has nothing to do with the fact that this movie looks like garbage. It has nothing to do with the fact that we put identity politics everywhere we could in this movie. It has nothing to do with the fact that the CGI looks awful and everything to do with simply the color of someone's skin. They even tried making excuses after opening weekend. Hey, it had a great opening, but things are a little bit strange overseas. It's a little fishy with these overseas numbers. Well, now, after three weeks, the mainstream media can no longer pretend like The Little Mermaid is some grand success story. They have shifted completely over to blaming racism because now even they are being forced to admit that things do not look good. Hashtag The Little Mermaid is swimming along with $228 million at the domestic box office, but the big budget film has been struggling overseas. At one point, there was hope the film would be near the $1 billion mark. It'll be lucky to hit $500 million worldwide now. Now, this is coming from their box office report for this weekend. Transformers Rise of the Beast takes the number one. Spider-Verse had a very good hold, like a 53% drop, something like that, at number two. And Little Mermaid did sink down to number three. Um, but this is where that's coming from right here. In third place, Little Mermaid added $22 million, declining 46%. After three weeks of release, it's swimming along with $228 million. But the big budget is a big budget film has been struggling internationally, where ticket sales have been floundering with 185 million. Yes, that is considered floundering for a movie that costs 250 million dollars because that's a production budget, right? 250 million dollars for The Little Mermaid. When you add in the 140 million dollars in marketing costs that they have admitted to, you're looking at a movie that needs to hit somewhere in that 750, maybe even 800 million dollar range just to break even. And now, According to Variety, they say to be lucky if it hits 500. I do think it'll easily pass the $500 million mark personally. I think the question is, does it get to 600 million? That's what I'm looking at when I look at The Little Mermaid. I think it'll have continue to have decent legs here and is going to continue to fall off internationally. I think you're looking at something that will struggle to hit $600 million. And if that is the case, if this thing can't get to 600 or barely gets there, you're still looking at a multi-hundred million dollar loss potentially for The Little Mermaid. That's how bad this is. People were talking about this for a long time. So much of this movie did not look good. You could tell. Obviously, with the race swapping, there was an agenda at hand. That was identity politics motivated. That's why this happened. But it wasn't just a race swap. They changed the story. They changed the ending so that Ariel's the one that kills Ursula instead of Prince Eric. They changed the lyrics of all these songs to not be so offensive. They changed entirely how she gives up her voice and the whole, oh, power and giving up your voice for a man. They changed all of that shit. So it's not a surprise that so many people have wholeheartedly rejected this movie. In addition to the fact it's another Disney live action remake. In addition to the fact that it just looks like shit. It doesn't look colorful. It looks muted and gray. And of course, the CGI is awful. But now you have the mainstream media coming out and throwing doubt on if this movie will even make $500 million at the box office. A couple of weeks ago, it would have been possible to fathom the media coming out and admitting this, even though we had been talking about it for a long time. But now it is so bad. The writing is on the wall. It's so clear that even they are being forced to report the truth that The Little Mermaid is a massive disappointment for Disney and could end up losing hundreds of millions of dollars for them, but they have done it to themselves. I don't shed any tears for Disney, certainly. In fact, I'll only be cheering as they continue to give the audiences things that they do not want, and they'll continue to be rejected.